Hi, I'm Paul Girotta from Catalyst Resources. This is one of a series of videos focused on design principles for SAS. The best part of the series in my mind is that each video is limited to two to three minutes. The topic we're going to discuss today is using appropriate mental models. As humans, in our minds, we maintain rich models that explain the real world around us. As an example, I, every, most people have a mental model of a check in their mind. They know if they under, if it's a check, they know how to fill it out. They know what it means if there are too many zeros. They know what it means that if it's not signed. They know that some places accept it, some places don't. So most of us have a tremendous amount of knowledge that we have in our minds organized in a model that once we understand that it's a check, we can access that information. So how can you use that to address your SAS solution challenges? In SAS, there are at often three key challenges that you're dealing with. One is you've got low switching costs. People pay by the month, they pay by the quarter, they haven't made a large upfront investment. The second thing is any money that you have to spend on delivering training or delivering support directly reduces your bottom line. Third thing, you constantly have competitors flirting with your customers. So let's take a look at an, of how, of an example of putting a mental model to work in a SaaS solution. Catalyst was asked to design some healthcare software that would be used by professionals to evaluate patients that had been recently come home from surgery. This was going to be tablet-based software as opposed to what they were previously using, which was pen and paper and a touchtone telephone to enter in certain key codes. Now, the people who were the healthcare professionals were very experienced in delivering healthcare, not technical people. Some of them didn't even use PCs. Now, what we found when we spent time with them is there was a very rich common mental model around patient charts. They could discuss patient charts together. They all knew what to expect about what would be in a patient chart. They knew how to enter data into it. They knew how patient charts would be organized. They knew how to handle privacy and confidentiality. They all had very rich, elaborate mental models in their minds that were, that were based on years and years and years of experience. So when we designed the software, we modeled around the patient chart. When the users came in and recognized that it was a patient chart, they knew how to access the information. It was organized the same way. It allowed them to collect information the way that they had been working, even though they were now using a tablet device instead of pen and paper. They understood how to deal with all the information and when to be private with information and when not to. And most importantly, it allowed them to not be focused on the software and focused on delivering an ideal healthcare experience for that patient. If you're working on a SaaS solution in your organization, you'd like to learn about other design principles that would help you succeed, feel free to contact us.